Good morning everybody, Martin here, OMR, and welcome to Fresh Fishing and the Retirement Sessions. Today I've decided to do a quick day session and I'm at Southfield Fisheries. I've come here for a couple of reasons really. Firstly, it's a day session so Southfield is nice and close, so I decided that, uh, that I'd come here. Um, secondly, as you're probably aware from, from my uh, previous sessions here, I'm still chasing a 20 here, which has managed to elude me for probably about 18 months. And uh, the best I've had is, I think, a 15 and a half on, uh, on a fixed zig. So, um, yeah, still chasing that 20. And the third reason is uh, I'm dog sitting Floyd at the moment. So uh, I, ha I had to find a fishery where uh, dogs were allowed. And, uh, of course, Southfield is. So uh, that's why I I'm back at Southfield. I've had my rod. I got here about... Uh, 7.20, I'm um, called in at McDonald's for breakfast first. Um, I had a walk around Pond B, um, me and Floyd had a walk around together. I uh, didn't see uh, much uh, much action, much, you know, many shows, um, fish uh, uh, cruising, etc., which you do tend to see here in the warmer weather. Um, <clears throat> but of course, it has, uh, it has cooled down again today. It's not going to get above 9, 10 degrees. Uh, which is a shame because the weather was starting to get uh, get pretty good towards um, the back end of last week and the Easter weekend. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit cooler now. So um, we'll try and nick a bite today. I'm fishing the middle of the lake. I'll show you spots and talk about rigs in a moment. I'm fishing the middle of the lake today as uh, there's a couple of areas that I wanted to try out. So I thought uh, I'd start off in uh, in the middle as it were. So there we go, yeah, so uh, I'll show you rigs, I'll show you, sorry, spots, uh, etc. Um, in a moment. Right, spots, so um, left-hand rod, if you look to um, this area, just here where this uh, overhanging tree is, just out here, possibly about there, middle of the lake, to the left of that, uh, of that overhanging tree, there was a show about five minutes before I got my first rod in. So um, I quickly put the left-hand rod there where that show was. Nothing yet, but, uh, but there we go. And I've had the rods in probably about half an hour. Center rod, if you look over to the far bank, you've got this, uh, this tree here. If you come down to that peg there, in this little corner here, in this bay, there are uh, there's there's an overhanging tree and I've got uh, I've got a blowback rig with a uh, snowman effect in that particular area and then the right hand rod if you look to the other side um, of the uh, of the of the lake uh, pond B sorry then um, just over about here probably half a rod length off uh, the far bank. Oh, I've got a pop-up on there, a washed out pink pop-up, just raised off the deck slightly um, with a bit of putty. So uh, yeah, that's what we've got. And on, sorry, on the left hand rod, I've got a, uh, a hard hooker boilie topped off with a bit of uh, fake corn to pop it up. And the, uh, the snowman rig is also a switch hard hooker with, uh, with a bit of a pop-up on there just to pop that up. So yeah, that's the rod. Um, I'm using a bit of a, a mix of boilie, pellet, and, uh, and sweet corn. Not too much, just a scoop at a time in the boat with a bit of uh, a, a various uh, um, liquid uh, food in there just to, just to pep it up. So we'll see how that goes. Right, nine, uh, 9.45, about 15 minutes ago, just had a take on my right hand rod. I, uh, I, I got the rod, I got, the, I got it under control, uh, but it, unfortunately it, it came off. Uh, it can't have been hooked properly, uh, something like that. Um, yeah, I, I probably had it on there for 10, five, 10 seconds and, uh, and then it came off. So yeah, a bit of action, 
Uh, I've, put, I've put one, uh, I've put it back immediately in the same spot. I think I'll have a brew now. It's uh, it's pretty cool at the moment. So uh, kettle on, I think, and uh, get a cup of coffee and uh, see how we go from there. Right, kettle boiled. Nice cup of coffee. And uh, it's in a new mug that the wife's just bought me. The man, the myth, the fishing legend. Wow, something to live up to now, eh? Okay, after that, uh, after that take, what I've uh, done is rearranged rod slightly. My, uh, the rod that I had the take on was, uh, let me see, under this area just over here, um, about half a rod length off the bank. So what I've done is I've put the uh, I've put the other rod in the same area, just about here, with uh, with the snowman on it. So two in the same area, because I've just had another line bite over there. Let's see if we can uh, get anything from that. And the uh, there was nothing from over here in the middle of the lake. So I've moved this one right right in here under the snag almost, but uh, it's locked up tight and. Uh, I've introduced a bit of a bit of bait there, so let's uh, let's see if we can do anything there. Fingers crossed. Right, yeah, it's about 10, 50, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago. Just had another possible take on the uh, on the right hand rod again, where the uh, pop up is. Came to nothing. So whether it was a really good liner or a, a semi take, um, an ejected rig, I don't know. Um, but uh, we're back in the same area, so uh, hopefully we'll get something from there and uh, Floyd's out having a look around um, he's on my knee now just to say hello to everybody hello Floyd yeah my old fishing buddy Floyd right guys yeah it's midday and uh, nothing yet just the uh, a couple of uh, missed runs that I've had um, from the same area. I've still got two rods in that area and I've moved my left hand rod now over to the other side, just slightly uh, further down than sort of two or three swims to the left of, uh, of what's straight opposite. Um, seems to be more action uh, down that side anyway. So uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, quite a few people uh, recommended steak slices cornish pasties ginsters pasties warmed up in in the ridge monkey so uh i, I took their advice and what we're doing is uh is warming up the steak slice in the uh in the ridge monkey it's a normal uh, ridge monkey pan i haven't got a uh, a toaster which i'm gonna get um and then that will make things easier but uh it still works just as well uh, in this particular pan so i'll give that a couple of minutes four or five minutes on a low heat and we'll see how that goes right here we go nice and hot should be good yeah that's very good not bad at all that so thanks for the suggestion whoever it was a couple of you actually I said that uh, Floyd's actually interested now as well because uh, it's lunch time stay there you so great cup of tea coming in a moment and also greg's jam donut pretty tasty cup of tea just brewing um so that was a good quick uh, and tasty lunch um thanks for those who commented uh, on uh, slices pasties ginsters whatever they are um in the ridge monkey yeah it works good stuff right it's two o'clock still nothing I've changed over the rod that was centre rod. Um, it was um, on a pop-up over to uh, the right-hand side of the far margin. I've put that on a fixed zig, which is uh, about a foot from the surface, on a similar sort of bait, a fixed uh, piece of candy stick, and um, just had a knock on the left-hand rod. <laughs> And hopefully we can get something on uh, on the zig. It's a bit warmer now. It's up to sort of nine, ten degrees. The sun's been out, so I'm hoping that uh, fish might be just off the weed, 
cruising near the surface um, in some cases and, and you know we might get something on a zig but uh, apart from that knock I've just had on uh, left hand rod it's been exceptionally quiet it's been nothing nothing happening for well yeah a couple of hours really so much so that Floyd's um, finished finished gonking now and decided to uh, jump up on my knee for a cuddle so um, yeah uh, just after two o'clock knock on the left hand rod and uh, zig on the on the center rod on the far side and sorry I've moved my right hand rod over to this side just down the margin um, and, and that's on uh, on a uh, switch boily um, snowman Yeah, four o'clock quick update. Nothing as yet. Uh, it's proving one of those days at Southfield. Of course, I had the the take this morning, lost that. So uh, that could have been the uh, the bite that I was here to nick. But uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to carry on till about five. Pack up at five. That'll take me about an hour to pack up, and we'll call it a day because uh, it's been. Uh, it's quite a long and cold day. It's only been uh, sort of nine degrees all day, uh, hence the reason I've had the big coat on all day. It's, uh, it's not been cold, and I don't think that's helped matters considerably uh, uh, with, with the water temperature. But, you know, it's one of, those, one of those things. You're either here and trying, or you're not. So we'll keep going. We'll try. Okay, yeah, just coming up to five o'clock now, and uh, you guessed it, nothing, uh, nothing as yet. I'm going to start a slow pack down now, probably about half an hour. 40 minutes and uh and then i'll move back to the car and uh close the session so if i don't get anything in this last 40 minutes it'll be a uh, a blank unfortunately but that's how it goes well just as i'm uh, slowly packing up we managed to uh to get a fish it's only a smallie it's a a nice looking mirror as I say, a nice looking mirror, probably about 10 pounds, nine, 10 pounds, and uh, caps the day off quite nicely, having uh, had a, uh, a very slow day, a cold day, but uh, at least we've got this, uh, this little mirror, about 10 pounds, as I say. And that was caught on my right hand rod, right down the margins. I moved it down to the far margin uh, on the far side. And uh, that was on a snowman rig. Okay, I'll get him back in. Right guys, uh, time is 10 past six. All packed away now, gears in the car. And uh, there we go, saved by the bell as it were. A little 10 pound uh, mirror right at the end as I was packing up. Just as I was, uh, well, I took, the, I took the day shelter down, taken everything out, packed, packed all the bags away, etc., and then the alarm went. And uh, a very welcome little 10 pound mirror on the right hand rod on the snowman rig. So there we go. So uh, one all today. I lost one this morning properly. I don't know about the, the second possible run I had. Um, could have been something else, could have been a really long liner or uh, something like that. But uh, the first one was definitely um, was definitely hooked at, uh, to, to a certain degree and, uh, and then I lost it, of course. So, yeah, so it's a blank saver. And uh, I was just thinking, uh, you know, I, I've still got probably an hour and a half of, uh, of good daylight now where you tend to catch uh, um, more fish here. So I think next time what I'll do is I'll start later and finish late. Um, but that's for the future. So yeah, um, another retirement session out of the way. Happy to have caught. It's been a cold day uh, and it's been, uh, it's been hard work. It's been quiet. I'm the only person here on both lakes. So uh, to that end, I'm quite happy that I managed to catch. So there we go, all sorted. And uh, I'll see you the next time on the retirement sessions. Bye bye, take care everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you don't already, hit that subscribe button and click the alarm bell to get notifications.